All right, we can turn now to our U.S. correspondent, Mia Dragzorich. zorich He is standing in front of one of those blood banks down in Orlando as we speak. Uh, Mia Drag, can you set the scene for us there? Yes, yes, you can see there are hundreds of... We have also members of the Muslim community here. Um, I think there's one of them. Um, you're a member of the Muslim community here in Orlando. That's right. How, how big is the Muslim community here? Um, it's, I'm actually not sure the full numbers, but it's a huge Muslim community in Orlando, Florida. I, I, we can ask if anybody else knows. 50,000. 50,000? 50, so, uh, how, ma how many uh, mosques do you have here in Orlando? There are several mosques, um, you know, probably around 10, 15 at least. But uh, we are members of uh, three, ma three organizations, three Muslim communities, Jaffrey Islamic Center, uh, Hussein Islamic Center and the Islamic Education Center and uh, you know we were just as horrified uh, to hear of the news this morning so we got together mobilized and wanted to do something to help the victims and uh, so we, we decided to come together to donate blood of course we are at full capacity here so we changed that and we decided to come and help those who donate blood so we're distributing water food and uh, trying our best to show solidarity with the victims how do you feel about the whole incident Terrified, terrified. You know, I woke up this morning to to the text. My son, uh, who is three years old, was uh, sleeping in our bed uh, because it had been a late night, and uh, you know, I just hugged him tighter. I had a tear in my eye. It, this, uh, we, we are we, we are Americans. We live here. We work here. Our kids are growing up here. We want them to grow up in a safe place. Uh, our religion does not teach us to you know commit such heinous crimes. And uh, the, the person who did this obviously has no idea what Islam is about. This is the month of Ramadan. It's a month we're all fasting, uh, we engage in charity, you know, we try to go out at, uh, to different parts and help people and, you know, to commit such a heinous crime in this sacred month, it's, it's terrible. It's just, we have no words to, you know, condemn it. I've spoken to several members of your community. No one has met this um, 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 this guy before. Did, did you ever met, meet him? No, absolutely not. We haven't met him either. And, uh, you know, there was actually a study, uh, I believe it was a study done in Europe, where they looked at terrorists and they looked at what, what are the characteristics of these terrorists. And inevitably they find that the terrorists are those who don't have a good connection to any Muslim center. They don't have a good religious identity. And because of that, they are isolated and then they turn to, uh, to commit crimes like this. Uh, a good religious identity establishment with a good center is actually protective against terrorism. And that's a, a European study. Okay, thank you very much. So, back to you, to Berlin. All right. Mia Drag, uh, thank you very much for doing your reporting down in Orlando.